What excited me about the project is the fact that this story has not been told before. Um, in this setting, in high school, in a sort of coming of age film. And I feel like it was past due and I wanted to be part of the team that helped tell it. He's, you know, he's just trying to find himself in the world of uh, high school, which um, is hard enough as it is. And then he has to, all of this is compounded by the fact that he's struggling with his sexuality. And that's, um, uh, I think also where a lot of the comedy comes from because he has, uh, he's, he's able to kind of turn situations that might seem bleak to some and, and find the, the humor in it, which is uh, something that I find to be very appealing. It's significant to Simon because it represents um, just a, uh, a peer, a colleague, someone who's going through the same thing. And not only are they going through the same thing, but they're going to the same school. So it's just this big mystery to him of who is this person. And um, he spends the rest of the movie trying to figure that out. He reaches out to Blue, um, just hoping that he might respond and be open to some kind of discussion. And he is, and they do. And he has a, um, a very uh, lengthy correspondence with this person that he doesn't know, and he ends up falling in love. So it starts from just sort of a curiosity to um, something that is very essential to his life. You know, if you take something and, and kind of put a spin of humor onto it, um, I, I think people respond to that. It's just, uh, you know, I, I think it's, it's truer to life as well. I mean, not everything's always um, doom and gloom, and if you can't laugh about something, then um, I think you must be doing something wrong. Greg, uh, he approached, he, I talked to Greg like, I don't know, maybe six months before we started this thing and he's been awesome this whole time and I couldn't imagine somebody better to actually tell this story.